Uh, yes, I do, with just one qualification that the court and that the opposing attorney will do so. Thank you. But other than that, absolutely. Well, I've seen many times what I've heard is that told the story at the expense of truth, and they try to truncate your answer so you can't speak in the full context. Uh, maybe, maybe basically making you answer yes or no, when yes or no could deceive people. And I'm all about speaking the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Sorry if there's any confusion about that. My name is Jeffrey Stephen Morgan, P-H-E-N. Uh, yes, I do. I believe I first met Rustin in March of 2017 in Austin at the Capitol. We were at a demonstration together. We were trying to get laws changed for the state of Texas. So there were two different things. When I first met Rustin, I believe it was at a rally, but I had also been working with legislators to get laws changed in several different areas. So I've spoken both with state legislators, federal legislators, the governor, the attorney general, uh, even presidential candidates regarding this. So there was a two, two, two factors there that were going on. But this was a rally that I first met him at. Um, my other stuff had to do with legislation. And you ran for Rustin at this show? Yes, I'm, that's, when I, that's the first time that I recall ever meeting Rustin. And I believe he spoke at the event as well. If, and it, it, I think he was an organizer of the event. It's called, it was called the Rally for Parental Equality, so that both parents have equal rights to their children. Because both parents are important to the children. I'm sorry, what you Copies? Hobbies. Oh, hobbies. Oh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, I think I do. I actually have a YouTube channel. I've got over 1,800 videos on there. What I started to do was look at the issue of family law in the state of Texas, uh, judicial misconduct. I've watched what, what has taken place. I've, been over, I've attended over 100 hearings, either virtually or in person, and I've witnessed many things that have just shocked me. So I've put out over eight, about 1,800 videos right now, many more ready to go, um, regarding what's going on, because my intent is to try to make changes. I think that we must change the laws in order to protect families and children. And just a little aside here, I first started on the issue of divorce reform. Um, I started on, I went to grandparent alienation. I went to a number of issues. I work for the I'm an, I work for the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. I am uh, an employee of the executive branch of the federal government. Prior to that, I was. Um, okay. Yes, I've been here. I believe about half a dozen times. So the reason I came here was uh, primarily So I came here actually because, uh, as I mentioned, I met Rustin out in Austin, and people were telling me about Rustin and about his son Aiden. And uh, I got to look into this. This is a topic I was unfamiliar with. I did get to meet Aiden. I interviewed him. Um, Aiden actually asked me to interview him um, on a couple of occasions, so I did so. Not all of the videos have been posted. I still have some that are, are not posted, but I wanted to see what was going on, and I wanted to hear what Aiden said, because Aiden was not being given a voice in this court, in my opinion. And by the way, Aiden was... Objection, he answered the question. Thank you. Next question. You mentioned you had some videos not posted uh, of Aiden. That is correct. I posted some videos... Objection, he answered the question. Thank you. Next question. Is this the right 
That is correct. I did not post those videos because Mr. Wright did not want me to post them. It was really a struggle for me because I felt like I was almost a little bit betraying Aiden, not giving him his voice. But I did not want to be the cause of any type of problem uh, that Rustin might encounter in this court, so I acceded to his wishes. I use YouTube. There is a playlist that refers to Foster County, and I also have videos on my Google Drive, which I've made public in case anybody. I have made them public, but they have access to them if they would like to see them. It is the voice of Aiden speaking. I made them public. Uh, the, the, the first ones I did on my own. The ones on my Google Drive, I made public because I, I, I didn't make them public. I let the public have access to them if they want to. Uh, the last night, just in case they would be appropriate for anybody to look at, so that the voice of Aiden could be heard. Rustin asked me to keep the video secret, to, to not publish them, because he did not want to bring um, stress to Aiden. He also did, well, I, he didn't really, he thought it might impact his case here. I did not want to be responsible for a bad ruling against Rustin, so I kept them private. Aiden first here in the hallway out there. Yes, he did in September of 2019, yes. Yes, he was concerned that he was going to be taken. This was my concern, Your Honor. I did say yes. Uh, he was near. He was not in the room. I did everything consistently with with Aiden because I did not. I wanted the truth, and I wanted to ask Aiden what the truth was. I did not want to have anybody there to influence Aiden, and that's what took place. There was a call from from Rustin. have an interest in justice because in the Old Testament it tells us that we are supposed to speak out on behalf of those who have no voice. And I take that very seriously as a as a Christian and as a person who has been a missionary in the Middle East. When I saw the first trial here, the first hearing, I guess it was called, uh, Rustin was acting in a profane manner, and I thought that the ruling was uh, unjust, and maybe because the Rustin, because Aiden was not given a chance to give a chance to speak, and I thought that Rustin, as a profane attorney, that that was uh, being used against him. So at the beginning, I asked him, you know, what his thoughts were, and he said, and what he said is, I want to live with my dad. I want to live with my dad. Yes, I asked him. It, it's posted online. Okay. No, that was at the same place at the third time, but then it was Aiden was. That was at a house, uh, I believe that uh, it was, I don't know her last name, but it was Colleen's house. It was in an attic. It was in an upper area. And again, it was just really made up. Yes, that, that, well, the second one, let's correct 
clarify that there were two interviews and one out in Belgium. Two interviews on the screen. I didn't know he was doing the first time I saw him on screen. So I saw him out here in the courtroom the second time. Uh, was at that, the same place. I believe that was in August. The third time he was afraid he was going to have to go back to live with his mother and his voice would never be heard. So that's why I went up the third time. I think the biggest thing he was concerned about was abuse. Uh, yes, he did. some police footage that I used and everything else to show uh, that Aiden had made allegations of abuse. Yes, that is, that is Aiden's mother. Uh, I've seen her in the courtroom. I've seen her on testimony on YouTube or some TV here. And I've also been involved in a couple of groups that I've seen her in there, so I have seen some of the stuff on Facebook. Uh, I know that she's a doctor. I don't know a lot about her, I've heard things, but to be honest with you, it's you hearsay. But I have interacted, I mean, I have been in the same group with her, so I don't know if that would be considered hearsay or not, particularly regarding front alienation. That's true, yes. There was a finishing when she and her husband, Jimmy, were back there. Yes, on the videotape, the exchange that was supposed to take place, that Aiden did not want to go back with the mother and her husband. I was, they had a white car, I don't remember which one of them was driving, but Aiden went out to say that yes, he did not want to go. On the Next question. Rustin was inside, he had no part of the that what was supposed to place there. He was not forbidden Aiden, Aiden from going. Uh, across the street. They were sitting in the car across the street in front of the house. That is correct. No, they did not get out of the car. Uh, Aiden approached the car, spoke to them, the window was down. Um, and that video is also available as well. What's that? I just told him I'm refusing to go with him. Oh, okay. He turned around and walked inside. There was no violent confrontation at all. I think that the car is waiting there. Should I it leave as well then? You're on me. Okay.
because I saw what was going on and I was concerned. I thought that the judge was being given incomplete information and inaccurate information. I believe, based on my examination of the evidence and the transcripts, that there may have been perjury committed at the same time. And I wanted to follow it up. If I get involved with something, I tend to stick along with it. I, I don't necessarily want to be involved, but if I am, I figure it's to, to bring resolution to the issue. Do you uh, watch other court proceedings? I've been in well over 100, both um, online, virtually, and in person. The most recent one was two weeks ago in Burnett County. I went down for a lady who was um, basically being kicked out of her son's life by an alienating father. So I, I, I go for men, I go for women. I look at family integrity as being very important. Both parents are needed. You mentioned you thought someone was committing perjury in here? Yes. Who was that individual? Um, also, in a proper opinion, a speculation of both I've heard a lot of things, but I'm not sure exactly what you're referring to. Um, 